What's going on everyone? I'm here today to show off release 0 0.6 of Miracle. This release was way too long in the making, so let's not waste any more time and hop right into the demo. All right, so first up on the list, the Miracle project now ships a shared library called libmiraclewimconfig.so. This library provides a C interface that anyone can use to build their own configurator application for Miracle on top of the existing YAML configuration. As an example, we built a graphical configuration in Flutter called Miracle Settings, which you can build and run today. I'll leave a link to the Git repo in the description below. This application uses the material design system to provide a sleek and simple way to configure Miracle. Feel free to check out the project and even contribute to it if you're interested in learning more. Next up, we implemented the WLR Output Management V1 protocol. This protocol provides the ability to change your output settings at runtime. You can try it out by running W displays that you see on screen or any other application that makes use of the protocol. Eventually, I will integrate a display configurator based off the protocol into Miracle settings, so stay tuned for that. Speaking of displays, we also greatly improved the display configuration in the latest release. The configuration now lives at a static path and we've simplified it a lot to improve understandability. If you're using the old display system, that will now be deprecated, so please be sure to migrate over to the new one. Next on our list, Miracle has added support for border radiuses on Windows, so everyone who is waiting for rounded corners, now is your chance to use them in Miracle. Our implementation is based off of sign distance fields, and I think they look pretty good. There are still some minor visual bugs with the current implementation, but the general algorithm and data structures are in place so that it works pretty well. We've also added support for many, many more Sway and i3 IPC commands, including toggling the full screen state of a container, toggling the floating status of a container, swapping the positions of two containers, renaming workspaces, Vim-like marks that allow you to easily jump to marked windows, and window events that provide you with updates about windows as their states change. And that pretty much does it for this release. The Snap, PPA, and Fedora packages should be updated shortly after this video is published, so feel free to grab them and check out the latest version of Miracle, and my cat is chittering. In the next release, we're going to finish off the remaining parts of the Sway and i3 IPC that we want to implement. Just to get that out of the way before moving on to bigger and better things, that release should come sometime in August, but, but no promises. But it should come sometime in August. But before I go, I have two announcements. The first is that I've created a matrix channel that you can join to discuss Miracle, whether that be about configuration or contributing to the project. Feel free to join us over there. I'll be hanging out there and answering any questions that you have. And speaking of contributing, I also took the time to set aside some tickets that might be of interest to newcomers to the project. So take a look at the good first issue label on GitHub if you're interested in helping out with Miracle and implementing features of your own. If you're also implemented in implementing features that aren't listed there, just run them by me first, maybe in the Matrix channel, um, just to make sure I don't have any strong thoughts and feelings about them. Anyway, that's it for this release. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in August for release 0.7. See you next time.